Congratulations, newly minted bachelors of health promotion and disease prevention and bachelors of global health. Wow. I'm quite sure I've never given an address to a better timed group of graduates. Right now, as you're graduating, more people than ever are learning about the fields to which you have dedicated yourselves and, we hope, coming to understand how very important they are. In fact, this particular moment in history shines a light on you and asks that you shine your own light on the world by using to your full capacity the training and expertise you earned at the Keck School of Medicine of USC. The knowledge you acquired has equipped you to help prevent, predict, understand, and respond to health crises like today's pandemic, to apply all of your expertise to keep the world's population well. As much as I regret that we're not conferring your degrees in person with high fives and handshakes and hugs, I'm grateful to be able to offer these virtual congratulations for your very real accomplishments. I also am grateful for your commitment to human health and the global greater good. Whether you're going on for an advanced degree, joining an NGO, serving in the public sector, influencing policy, or seizing any of the myriad other opportunities your education and training have prepared you for, I implore you to dedicate yourselves to ending health disparities and engendering equity and understanding. The world is filled with fine people, but it is also fraught with systemic injustice and discrimination. Represent USC and the Keck School of Medicine well by being a beacon for better and fighting on for those who cannot fight for themselves. In this challenging time, I know you will rise to the challenge. COVID-19 is reminding us all what you already know, that we are global citizens, members of a broader class humanity, that we are inextricably interconnected with people all over the world. This moment, these months will pass and perhaps some of you will be the ones to help us prevent the next pandemic. I am counting on, indeed the world is counting on you, to bring all you have to bear on improving and in saving lives, and to do so with utmost respect for others and for the professions that you choose. I know I speak for the faculty members and mentors you worked with here at Keck, and for your families when I say, in this strange moment, please revel a bit in your moment and heal on. Hello, class of 2020. I'm Tom Valenti, interim chair of the Department of Preventive Medicine. And it is my honor and pleasure to congratulate you for completing your degree here at USC. You graduate at a unique time in history, needless to say. It is a moment where the world faces its greatest health challenge in a century. Your studies, your contributions, your career goals and aspirations could never be more relevant, important, and critical than at this time. We know this has been a challenging spring for you and for all of us. But we also know that we will learn, grow, and become stronger from these experiences. And so you are prepared to help this world face, defeat, grow, and heal from this experience. As you move to the next stage in your career, remember with fondness your challenges, your joys, your everything that you've had at USC, and use those thoughts to prepare yourself for this brave new world. Congratulations, class of 2020. You have our best wishes and our best hopes for you to help us going forward. Congratulations and fight on. Congratulations to the class of 2020. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Richard Watanabe and I'm Vice Chair for Education for the Department of Preventive Medicine. It's an honor to be addressing you today. And although this graduation probably wasn't what you were hoping for, um, I think you all understand what current circumstances are like and why we have to be doing it this way. But that doesn't minimize your accomplishments. For those of you who are moving on to graduate school or medical school or some other professional school, um, this is just a small stepping stone onto bigger and greater things for you. And for those of you who are trying to get out there into the job market, again, this is a great stepping stone. Um, I really wish I could be recording this message in regalia, but uh, unfortunately I didn't have regalia. And you can see up there, um, in whoops, our opposite corner, excuse me, up there in the corner there, um, I just uh, jury-rigged a little cardboard cap and uh, tassel for you. I know the tassel's the wrong color. 
Uh, but, um, you know, I just wanted to congratulate all of you. You all should be wearing a tassel and a cap and a regalia, and, and you should be able to move your tassel across when, you know, once you cross that threshold. But you'll get that opportunity sometime in the near future uh, when the university holds its actual physical graduation. Uh, until then, I just wanted to let you all know that despite the fact that this graduation time for you is going to be virtual, uh, your real careers are not going to be virtual. And for those of you who are going to stay in medicine or science or in public health, um, I want you all to understand that the opportunities for you guys are just going to be tr tremendous going forward. Um, there are so many things about this pandemic that we need to understand and we need to go back and learn. Um, and so I think both in terms of research and medical research, biomedical research, public policy, all these things related to health um, are going to be just uh, really wonderful for you guys for the next few years. So I wouldn't despair too much, to be quite honest. Um, also, I just wanted to say that you probably have all seen um, how the public has reacted to you know, shelter in place and all the other public health measures that have been um, implemented in order to minimize the impact of COVID-19. And you've probably seen on social media all kinds of stuff, you know, misinformation flying around, et cetera. And those of you that have taken classes with me know, I say this all the time, that, uh, you know, for those of you that are going to stay in the sciences and in public health, um, really it is your responsibility to be out there educating the public and making sure they understand things. And this pandemic really exemplifies that. Um, you know, with all of that misinformation out there, people are putting their lives at risk, uh, putting their loved ones at risk, um, and therefore you should be out there fighting the good fight um, and explaining to people what it all means and why these things have to happen, um, et cetera. Um, you know, we have a total, um, you know, lack of leadership out there in some sense, you know, to try to help you know, educate the public and make them understand what's going on and why these things have to happen. And this is your opportunity to, you know, basically take all those things you've learned in all of our, the classes that you've taken and put them out there in a, on a real problem and to make some real impact out there. So I'm uh, hoping all of you will do that um, and take that role of yours as a serious responsibility. Um, to your parents out there, congratulations to your parents. Um, I know they spent a lot of time, probably a lot of money, um, but also supporting you, the effort to, to get you through everything and get you to where you are, I'm sure was tremendous. Um, and so to your parents and your loved ones, congratulations to all of you as well. Um, so I wish all of you all the best. Um, please stay in touch. You should always feel free um, even after you've gone, um, you know, elsewhere to, you know, come back and talk with us. Any of your professors, I'm sure, are willing to talk with you if you ever need advice about anything going forward. Uh, we're still here to support you as you move forward in your careers. So, so congratulations again. I wish you all the best and, uh, you know, fight on. To the health promotion and global health classes of 2020. I want to offer you my sincerest congratulations. Although today is very different from the day we all envisioned at the beginning of this school year, one thing is exactly the same. How proud I am of each and every one of you. Every year I delight in the opportunity to reflect on the amazing journeys our students undertake at USC and how much they have experienced from their first nervous moments at our HP welcome picnic to now. In the time since that first year, you have formed friendships that will last your lifetimes. You have distinguished yourselves in the HP and global health programs and became a part of the fabric of this university community. You are my academic superstars. In fact, I want to take this opportunity to congratulate our 12 Renaissance scholars, including a scholarship prize winner, our three global scholars, and our two discovery scholars, one of whom is also a scholarship prize winner. These scholarly designations are given by USC to those whose work surpasses expectations. Be proud of your achievements. Graduates, 
each of you has made this university a more vibrant place by being here, learning, volunteering, cheering, dancing, mentoring, playing, singing, and studying together. And that's only the parts of your lives I have been privileged to witness. When, we, when you began USC, it was the place you were going to call it. But somewhere along the way, USC became home. And that is because you became each other's family. Yes, there is the Trojan family of which we are always so proud. But I want to be sure you know now more than ever that you are cherished members of our global health and health promotion family. Take care of one another now and always because that's what family members do. While these exceptional times are not how I would have wanted to emphasize the importance of healthcare, education, and a nuanced understanding of how social factors influence health, know that your education with the Keck School has made you even more ready to help ensure the health of our world. No matter what's your next step, I thank the faculty who have shared their knowledge with you and the staff who supported your success. Wherever you go, remember the importance of cultural humility to your work. Listen, be patient, and truly care. Finally, and most importantly, remember another rule about family. Family always comes home. I look forward to the day when we can celebrate together with the enthusiasm and joy that your achievements deserve. Know that we will be expecting you. In the meantime, congratulations. Your hard work has been worth it. You have made it. May the friends and family you are with now celebrate you loud and long. Make sure the neighbors know. Graduates, this is quite an achievement. Thank you for all you have given to USC. Until we meet again, be well and fight on. Good morning, my fellow class of 2020 graduates. Today is the day we finally made it. Graduating from USC is no small feat, so I hope whether you're on your living room couch or laying in bed, you give yourself a round of applause, a pat on the back, maybe a fist bump, or just something in honor of all your hard work. I know that this is not what we imagined our May 15th graduation would have been a few short months ago, but this is a huge milestone that we've been working for our entire lives, and that deserves to be celebrated. I've been reflecting a lot on my last four years at USC since there's not that much really to do in quarantine. The first thing I realized is how I couldn't have done any of this at all without my parents and support system. They've guided me through my toughest moments and celebrated with me during my most amazing moments. So please, on top of congratulating yourselves, also congratulate your parents and whoever's in your support system because it truly takes a village to make a USC graduate. The second thing I've realized is how fleeting this whole experience has been. It's a feeling I'm sure we all share. If I had known my last college moments were gonna be my last college moments, maybe I would have hugged my friends a little longer, actually gone to office hours, or taken that walk home from class just a little bit slower to truly take in the beauty of USC's campus. But as they say, hindsight is always 2020. And I really hope someone laughed or at least chuckled at that pun. But anyways, there are so many things about USC I'll miss, from all the events to the people and the actually being around people, you know? Um, one thing I know for sure I won't miss is all the all-nighters, the insanely hard bio 220 tests, and the stress induced from every single chem lab report. But regardless, we should all be extremely proud of ourselves because as a class, we have been through more than most. But as health promotion and global health majors, now experts, we know just how important the role resilience plays in overall well-being. So even though times are hard now, we will get through this and come out having grown stronger on the other side. So as we all go our separate ways, know this is not a goodbye, but it's a see you later because no matter what, you will always be a part of the same Trojan family. I hope you and your families are staying safe during this time. I'm giving you all virtual hugs. We did it and fight on.